Hey there, Mouse here. Welcome back to my channel. I have pin mail today, and my previous pin mail videos have taken quite a while, so I'm trying to bring you one that's not going to take like 30 minutes. I only have five packages here. Um, I think only two of them maybe have multiple things in them. So this should be a nice, brief, just quick dose of Disney in your day to brighten it up. Um, if you're a subscriber already, hi, welcome back. Thanks for subscribing. If not, what are you waiting for? Maybe you just found this channel, and if not, and you've been watching a few videos, like, make life easier for yourself. Just subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll always be the first to know when I post a new video. And if you like any pins in this video, at any point, hit that thumbs up button so I know you enjoyed something. Be on the lookout for your favorite pin because I'd love for you to comment down below about what it was. Let's get started. Okay, I do have three trades that I made, and I've mentioned several times, but I trade on the Disney uh, Kitty pin chat and trade group um, so I'd love to see you there and I don't remember what order I traded these in or what I traded these ladies for but I'm excited to find out because sometimes it just is a while before you can open pin mail and I'm very ready to find out so this first trade I made with oh I remember her Juanita I remember Juanita because um, she was not trading for herself, she was trading for her daughter, her little daughter, who loved Wally pins. So I contacted her and let her know I had some Wally pins, and honestly, if it's for a child, like if it's for a little kid, um, I, like I would trade like pretty much almost anything I had. Um, so I was super excited to make that trade. Like with an adult, I'm going to be a little pickier, but if, I, if like she had wanted four or five of my pins, I would have found something on her pin board that I would have liked. I was able to find three really cool, and I think especially one super unique pin that I haven't seen before, and I'm excited to show you them. And so this is, um, I think, I want to say their names are Jacques and Gus Gus from Cinderella Little Mice who help her get ready, and they're in a little teacup. Do you see how it just got dark? It's because my big fat cat, not the one you've seen before, but the big fat one just jumped in front of the window and decided to block out all the sunlight that was left for this day. Let me go get him. Corland! This is my biggin, my big kitty cat, my the love of my life, Cortland, Cortland Bear, as I call him. And you can see he is very large. I, I mean, guys, all he loves in life is eating and napping. I can't take one of those away from him. So, that's it. He's just, he's just a biggin. Say hi to everybody, Cortland. He's a beautiful black cat. We went to the shelter. I said, the only thing I don't want is a black cat. And then he just stole my heart. So now, you've bet, met both of my kitty cats. And back to this glorious, gorgeous pin. This is actually from a four pin Cinderella, um, like, kind of like a flare set um, that has been released. But I didn't want to buy it because it just seemed way too expensive on the Shop Parks app for four pins. I since have gotten two of them via grab bag. Now I got this one via trade. The only one I'm missing is a Cinderella, Cinderella carriage pin. Really enjoy this. I also traded for this Tiana ear hat, which I think is just gorgeous and the ear hats series is definitely one I want to collect but I don't think I don't even know if I have one bag of this um, sitting somewhere around my house so I'm probably gonna try to trade for as many of them as possible the details in this are just gorgeous and so perfect for the princess and the frog little lily pad at the top oh my god and the pin I felt was most unique Look at this one! It is Lightning McQueen from Cars wearing a Disney hat. And there, there are a couple reasons I love this pin. One, it's super unique. I haven't seen it on anybody else's pin boards. Two, I just recently watched the, the first and second Cars. I still have to see the third one. And we're going to Cars Land in July, which is why we watched them finally. And I really enjoyed them, especially the first one. And then third, he's wearing little Mickey ear hats. And if you've seen a previous video of mine, probably earlier this week or late last week, um... Uh, you know that my number one Disney collection is characters breaking the fourth wall and actually going to Disney World. And he's wearing his, his little ears, and I think that's perfect. And I think it looks exactly like what a car wearing ears would look like. All right, so I really liked all three of those pins. They're all so different. They don't go together. I don't really have anything that matches them too much, but 
I'm like I'm thrilled. Well, at least the Tiana hat. I don't really have anything that matches her. Okay. This next trade was with Allison. And Elsa did something a little cool, a little unique. She actually um, put the pin on this super cute card. Now, I know we're, you're supposed to always ship in bubble wrap, but nothing, no damage came to this beautiful jasmine pin that I'm going to give you a close-up in a second. Um, so everything is, is, is all right with the world. And she put a cute Aladdin sticker on the inside and just like a little thank you note. Thank you for the trade. Um, and... Uh, so I'm, I thought this was such a sweet idea. Let me give you a close-up. Okay, there she is. And I've become a Jasmine collector recently. I love everything about this pin. I love that she actually has, is sitting on the magic carpet. That's my favorite part of this pin. I haven't seen this pin anywhere else, so I don't know like the backstory or where it's from or if there are other pins like this. I'm assuming there would be with like other princesses' name banners or something. I really enjoy this. Okay, and final trade that I'm going to share with you today comes from Rebecca. Oh, so Rebecca was super nice and sent a little Ariel um, sticker, but unfortunately, it got caught on the um, like the tape that she taped the pins up with, and so it stuck. It stuck like at the top of the mailer, so I did cut it a little bit, but it's still a beautiful sticker. You can barely tell her hair sells plenty of volume. I remember why I was so excited to this pin. And look, she included the Ariel sticker because it's an Ariel and Flounder pin. I love this. And I was so psyched to trade for this, not only because I'm collecting the attractions box, um, and that's where this is from, representing, I'm guessing, um, Journey of the Little Mermaid, but I guess it could be a different ride in Disneyland. I'm not sure which one that is yet. Another reason I was super psyched to get this pin is because I've seen a lot of people open this on YouTube and I've heard a lot of people talk about this like on Facebook and YouTube and this pin seemed to have very poor quality control because a lot of people were saying that she was missing like her eyes filled in or her pupils and also some people instead of having teeth here she just had a red mouth and it looked kind of bizarre so now even if I get another attractions box and I get one that's messed up I have insurance because I have this one and so there you go you can see Ariel with her other four attra her other three attractions and that collection is steadily growing I think I think there's four more in this series that I'm going to try to get at least some of them. I think there's a Haunted Mansion I really want, and oh, the um, Alice Teacups that I definitely want too. I'd be probably happy to stop at those six. I think I know what's in this box. I'm not 100% sure, so it's going to be a good mystery for me. Mystery box. This is from an eBay seller named Karen Baruti, and her eBay name is just K Baruti, and I'll put that right here. And she included a little business card, okay, um, just saying thanks. And I think, I'm pretty sure this was a full set of pins that I, I won an auction for. So let's see, there are, hmm, there are four, yes, okay, I know what this is then, because there are four of them. Let me dig into these and I'll show you all, like, one after one another. Sorry for the brief interruption, everybody. My camera just shut off um, because I've been filming so many videos recently. My memory card was full, so I, I'm sorry if this is kind of, if anything switched in your perspective. But I figured out what those pins were in that um, eBay uh, auction that I won. And they're a Hidden Mickey set of Disney kitty cats, which is perfect because I had my own first baby, my first fur baby, starring in this video. So I'll give you a close-up look, but I definitely, they, they look great to me. Um, they don't look fake to me. Um, and I didn't pay like a super cheap price, like $4 or anything for them that would suggest that they were fake. So let me give you a close-up of all these. I, I love every single one. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to pick a favorite. So here we have the Cheshire Cat, which of course is a character that if you've been following this channel, you know I've been collecting. They all have this kind of like foofy, fluffy, plushy thing behind them. Then there's Marie, and if I had to pick a favorite, it might be her. She's gl glorious and gorgeous. Figaro, and he's all black, and you know I like the black cat, so very good pin here. And the only one that could give Maria a run for her money, either Cy or Am, one of the cats from Lady and the Tramp, which is one of my main collections at this point. 
So I really love all of these pins and it's really impossible to say which is my favorite. But four cats. You can have four cats, right? Let me let you in on a little secret. My mom has like nine cats. Isn't that insane? It's absolutely insane. I think two is plenty. I'm sure there's some of you out there who's like zero is plenty. Um, but four, not so bad. All right, and the last thing I have for you is um, an Instagram live auction sale. I have just become totally obsessed with them. And this is from, I'm gonna say Marcy. It's M-A-R-C Mouse, I'll put that right here. And she does really cool live Instagrams and this was the second one of hers that I ordered from. I honestly don't remember what's in here. I'm pretty psyched to find it. Oh, there's a little goodie in, in the bottom of the bag. And so, huh. Hmm. 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 She, uh, I don't know if she does this all the time, but I know in the last order, or the first order, and the last order, that I ordered from her, she includes like these little clothes pins. Thank God, I just remember what it is. I realized I could not figure out that word for me earlier for the life of me. And my, my first one was a really cute one. It was Sully, and it was, so it was like, his colors, it was like blue with like purple dots. This one, I'm not sure what it is. I have a guess. So I'm going to let you look at it. You tell me what you think when you see this. I think Pocahontas. That's my best guess. But anyway, you're supposed to kind of maybe send these along in a trade or stick them on people's clothes, which I probably wouldn't do. It seems like a little, I don't know. Uh, as a middle school teacher, that just seems like you're asking for trouble to touch, to, to, to put something on somebody else's clothes. I just see it all the time. So, uh, to just, but anyway, to just kind of give somebody a dose of Disney magic. Now, I feel like the Sully one, if I gave it to somebody, they'd be like, oh my god, Monsters, Inc. It's instantly recognizable. This one, I feel like it's probably Pocahontas. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this one. She included this park map, which I find a bit disturbing. Sorry, uh, whoever thought this was a great marketing idea. I don't have kids, so maybe if you have kids, maybe you're like, that is darling, but I'm like, no, no thanks. All right, this first pin, I'm going to reveal it in a second. I'm going to show you, but I want to explain that I know this is bizarre. I know this is a weird pin. You can tell it's Mickey Mouse from, like, just the outline. Good for you if you figured that out. Good job. Um, but it's weird, and I, could, I just put it on a total whim. I didn't even know what it was on her pin board. I asked for a close-up, and then I was like, I almost felt obligated to buy it after that, which is stupid, but let me show you. It's a little Mickey Mouse, and he is holding the shape of Pennsylvania, and it says Pennsylvania on it. And I live in Pennsylvania, so when I asked for a close-up of it, and then she gave it to me, and I saw it said Pennsylvania, I was like, well, guess I gotta get this. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this pin, but I felt like it just belonged to me, I guess. Oh no, this next pin I realized I, I forgot I bought it, so I just traded for this one. Darn it. Oh, hopefully it'll make a good trader. Gaston from the World of Evil Collection. Gaston is my number one villain. He is the best. Whether it is live action or cartoon, I love me some Gaston. I'm a little intimidated to actually meet him in Walt Disney World. I don't know if I ever will, but I, I do kind of want to. All right, so he's gonna join my trade, or he's gonna join my board for my World of Evil collection that I'm slowly finishing up. And then when I get the other one in the mail, he'll be added to my trader section. And right there, you can see my World of Evil collection coming nicely along. It's a cat video today, people. Hope you're cat people. We got Cyan Am. This was from the Disney Cat Booster. And I pretty much have gotten all the cats from that booster pack that I want, except Oliver. So I need to look out for him. But I love these kitty cats, even if... I don't want to say that they're, like, racist or anything like that. Because I don't think that's true. But I do think if you rewatch Lady and the Tramp... These cats are, perhaps they just did not age well. Maybe that's what I'll say. They did not, they, they didn't age well. All right, guys, I really should have uh, looked at this, all the pins I got before showing you my trader board, because look, it's another World of Evil pin. Yay! I hope I didn't trade for this one, too. <laughs> I know I just traded for a few of them. I may have traded for her also. I'm not sure. But it's the Queen of Hearts, and she's looking super adorbs. And I love her outfit. And I actually, my husband uh, told me earlier when I first opened this pack that he thought that um, she was just kind of weird looking. But I love her. And I love the little crown on her head. So this is probably my favorite evil, not evil queen, a queen of hearts. This is my favorite queen of hearts pin I've ever seen. All right, you get one more look at the 
the, the, the board there, the collection, and I will organize all these once the collection is done. So if you're the kind of person who's like, oh my god, they're not straight, they're tilted. I feel you, I totally feel you, and I promise they will get straightened. And in my efforts to complete yet another mystery pack collection, the Dalmatian Donut from the Donut series. And I did an unboxing of these a, a few weeks ago on my channel, and people really liked them, I think. And so I think after this, I only need one more donut to complete the set. That could be my first mystery set completed. I need the Alice Donut. Like, there you go. Can you see all those beautiful donuts? There's the Dalmatian. He's new to the collection. And I have one space left. That's where Alice needs to go, right by the Cheshire Cat. This was a super cool sale because Marcy had a lot of seas, uh, pins from overseas. I believe this was from Shanghai. Fairly certain this pin's from Shanghai. And it's Donald as a tourist in Disney. And he has his park map. And he has, was that a backpack? Looks like a big backpack on him. And there's the Mickey balloon and like the little castle icon and the carousel icon and just a lot of other park icons there and again my favorite collection is the characters at the park so as soon as I saw this I had to have it now if I had to have this one I had to have Daisy as well and Daisy is also a tourist with all the same symbols in the background um, I think that's is that even Space Mountain that's super cool and she's just looking fabulous. And what touristy thing is she doing? Eating a Mickey ice cream bar. Perfection. So I actually think I'm going to call it and say this. This was my favorite pin from the video. Especially when you take them as a set. Well, that's, ev that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching along. If you haven't yet give a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to tell me down below what was your favorite pin from this pin mail. Really waiting and, and looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.